Oh my god, it's Wesker! It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Wesker! Hanging about. <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. Holy crap. <laughs> I despise Chris. Uh, what are you going to do to him? Yeah, I don't think you want to be talking that way to Wesker. I don't think she's met Wesker before though, so... <laughs> I don't think Wesker cares about abuse to women laws. Oh, how your brother will weep to see you die. <laughs> you are one evil son of a bitch, Wesker. What? What is it? Stay there. I'm coming. Oh, shit. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, the dude. You may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live a little longer. Now, I never understood that Wesker's attitude to Resident Evil characters is usually, I'll let you live for now. And, like, he obviously has the power to take out, like, Chris and, like, what he just saw right there. I know it has a purpose of sorts that, you know, He's using Claire as bait to get to Chris. But isn't it just easier to just take people out as you see them? So they don't become a nuisance later? That's the thing I never understood about Wesker. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't actually need to deposit stuff, so... I can actually go down, down... Do this tricky, tricky puzzle! I got all that time I was going through uh, the last area, not getting lost, and this is the area I get lost, really. <laughs> but I didn't really get lost, I just, you know, kind of distracted myself with talking about Wesker, so. I was heading the wrong way. This is the way I actually want to be going, right down here. Yes, use this thing. And this is the only door where you need the gold key, so it asks you to discard it right away. Because you only need it for this one room. Okay, so we have an old style Resident Evil type puzzle in here with many pictures and each one of them has a button. This puzzle can actually get a little bit confusing. And a memo, message to the new family master. You want to pay attention to what's written on this memo because it's basically the clue to the puzzle. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master to the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when the butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative, as a commemorative <laughs> to Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory as Veronica did before them. The position of the family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother Sir Arthur. It is then it then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed its golden age. Okay. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large ent chemical enterprise Umbrella Inc. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir, Al <coughs> Sir Alexander, succeeded the position, the glorious Ashford family gradually began to sink. I sincerely hope that the Ashford family gains its glory with your guidance is just... Just as this face continues to shine eternally, Scott Harmon, Butler, Ashford family. Okay. I was trying to pay close attention to the actual words that were written as well as reading this, so it was kind of... 
Alright, so you can investigate each one of these pictures to find out who the different people are. I kind of know what I'm doing here, so I'm just going to try and guess this. Beautiful woman is holding the ET set. There's a button below. Push the button. And if you think that, that person is next in order. Alright, the next one is the father with twins. Because if you remember, it said the father and his son. And then the next one was passed over to his twin. So, that would be this dude. Stanley, I think his name was. Alright, next up is two red-haired men. And one's holding the tea set. Another one's holding... I can't remember what the other one's holding. Bear with me. Alright, the other one's holding an earthenware plate. Okay. So yeah, you'd know it's this one first because the tea set was before the earthenware vase. I believe it was the grandfather next. So yeah, you can check this picture, see that he has the earthenware vase and you know, you kind of use logic to work that out. And finally, this dude over here. Now if I did this wrong, an alarm would go off. Which, I'm pretty sure I did it right, so that's not going to go off. But if it does go off for you, then all you have to do is exit the room, come on in back, and you can retry the puzzle. It's, you know, there's no big penalty, penalty for getting this done wrong. It's the same child as seen on the projector film. Oh, it's that kid. There's a message written onto the picture. Trace the Ashford legacy, reveal the true master. There's a button below. Okay. Are you ready to see who the new legacy of the Ashford family is? Are you ready for it? Oh my god, it's Alexia! And we are going to steal stuff from <laughs> the entire family. The more sentimental thing that you have. <laughs> I'm not actually going to steal this, don't worry. I'm just going to take what's inside and be on my way. Inside this thing is a queen ant. Alright, cool. That's possibly the most head-scratching puzzle in this game. Out of the way. Done and out of the way. I don't remember there being anything like trickier than this in this game. So that puzzle first time around did take me a while to figure out, you know. Alright, as far as these two ants, because if you remember, um, from when we went up to the Ashford's Manor, there are actually two of these ants. Out of the two ants, that's the only one that's like really difficult to get, and I need an item before getting the other one. That's the only one that's uh, difficult to get, this other one. It's uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward, but it's... You know, we get something a little bit nice for doing this next puzzle actually and I think actually I'm gonna stop the recording in the next room rather than at this save point right here hang on where's the item I need I think I passed it piano roll there we go yeah I mean you know I'm just coming across the hallway to uh, get to this typewriter right here I don't need to actually do it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the casino room. I'm gonna do this puzzle and I'm gonna stop the recording there. You will see why when I actually do the puzzle. So yeah, it'll kind of make more sense when we do that. And if you remember, because we have a piano roll in our inventory, I did uh, point it out earlier, yeah there's a piano right here in the casino room. So use this thing. And for that we get some very nice relaxing music. And the second of two ants needed before we head back up to the manor. And that will be the king ant. So we have both the queen and the king. So that is everything that I wanted to do. So I am going to stop the recording right here and I'm going to leave it with this very nice relaxing music. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. 
I will see you for the next part. Until then, enjoy the music! <laughs>